House Mormont of Bear Island is a northern noble house and one of the main houses sworn to the Starks of Winterfell. Their seat is at Bear Island, located in the Bay of Ice, northwest of Winterfell. Their sigil is a black bear over green woods and their motto is Here We Stand. House Mormont is one of the few houses to have an ancestral weapon made from Valyrian steel, a bastard sword they called Longclaw. However, despite possessing this valuable sword, due to Bear Island's lack of valuable resources, the Mormonts are rather poor even among the people of the north. The hall is made of huge logs, surrounded by earthen palisades, unlike most of the great seats of the north. On the gate is a carving of a woman in a bearskin, with a child in one arm suckling at her breast, and a battle axe in the other. The Mormonts are an old house with proud and honourable reputation, known as being very loyal to House Stark. According to Northern Histories, Roderick Stark, a king in the north centuries before Aegon's conquest, gave Bear Island to the Mormons after winning the Isle in a wrestling match from a driftwood king of the Ironborn. Until this point, the island and some of the eastern coastline had changed hands between the Kings of Winter and the Driftwood Kings multiple times. However, skeptical maesters think it is more likely that the rival kings wrestled with words metaphorically rather than a physical altercation, and this detail was lost after so many generations of the tale being passed down. The Mormont lands are cold and poor. Like all women of Bear Island, the women of House Mormont learned how to defend themselves from Iron Men and wildlings due to many of the men being absent during times of war. During the time of the Targaryen conquests, Lord Torren Stark, the former King of the North, sent a few longships from Bear Island, as well as men from Bear Island, to aid the new King Aegon Targaryen in his campaign against the Iron Islands. Later, during the time of Jaehaerys the Conciliator, Lord Alaric Stark was wed to a moment. According to Alaric, his wife made a cloak from the skin of two wolves she killed when she was only 12 years old. It's also noted that members of House Mormont were present at the Tourney of Harrenhal in 281 AC, along with many of the other northern houses. However, it's not specifically known what members were present at the Tourney. Perhaps the most notable part of House Mormont's history is rather recent, with the tale of Lord Gior Mormont and his son Jorah. Gior arranged a marriage for his son, to a girl from House Glover, when Jorah was still relatively young. While the marriage did last 10 years, the couple produced no children. Jorah's wife, the Glover girl, eventually died after not being able to recover from her third childbirth. By the time she died, Lord Gior had joined the Night's Watch and was elected Lord Commander in 288 AC. Although it's speculation, it is likely that Gior had joined the Night's Watch prior to Robert's Rebellion. This is also supported by the idea that Jorah also fought in the Greyjoy Rebellions in 289 AC, earning fame in the Siege of Pike and earning a knighthood from King Robert Baratheon. Soon after, he met and fell in love with Lyrice Hightower at the Tawny at Lannisport, held to celebrate the victory over the Iron Islands. To many surprise, Jorah won the joust and crowned Larissa Hightower his queen of love and beauty and asked her father, Lord Leighton Hightower, for her hand in marriage. Again, to many surprise, was granted. But life on Bear Island was significantly different from life in Old Town that Larice was used to, and Jorah spent all of his little money to keep Larice happy. In the year 293 AC, after trying to sell poachers to a Tyroshi slaver to increase his income, Jorah fled from the north to the three cities with his wife. He had learned that Lord Eddard Stark of Winterfell was coming to Bear Island to pass on the king's judgment. Jorah and Larice lived in exile in Lys, with Jorah becoming a sellsword after they ran out of money in only six months. However, whilst away fighting on the Rhoyne, Lyris became a concubine of a merchant prince. This resulted in Jorah being exiled from Lys, where he continued on to Volantis. When he ran, Jorah left the family Valerian steel sword Longclaw behind, seeing as he was not fit to wield such a blade. This is the same sword Jorah would later give to Jon Snow after saving Jorah's life from whites. Mage Mormont, Jorah's aunt, and Jorah's sister inherits Bear Island after Jorah flees the Seven Kingdoms. Her heir is her eldest daughter, Daisy. When the main book series starts, Gior is still the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, but is later killed by his own men at Cresta's Keep, coming back from a failed ranging north. Meanwhile, Jorah has taken up service with Daenerys Targaryen. Major Mormont and her daughter and heir, Daisy, march south with Rob Stark to rescue his father, Ned, from Lannister captivity in King's Landing after Robert Baratheon's death. They are among the lords to name Rob Stark, King in the North, and fight alongside the other northern houses prominently 
during the War of Five Kings. In preparation for King Rob's plan to recover Moat Kaelin from the Ironborn, Mage is sent by Rob on a Malister longship to the Neck to contact the Cranog men. It is believed she is accompanied by Jason Malister and Galbert Glover. Therefore, none of the three were present at the events of the Red Wedding, but Daisy Mormont is and is murdered in the massacre. After the War of Five Kings comes to an end, and Stannis Baratheon arrives in the north, he demands the fealty of the Northern Lords. Young Lyanna Mormont sends Bear Island's denial, stating they know no king but the king in the north. Lyra and Jorel Mormont are with their mother, Lady Mage, whose location is unknown at this time. Alisanne Mormont, who is now the heir of Bear Isle after Daisy's death, and men at arms of House Mormont, launch an attack on the ironborn longships off the strand of the Deepwood Mott. Managing to take them unawares, she burns and captures all the ships, securing several ironborn captains, knights and warriors, and other nobility for ransom. After Stannis later retakes Deepwood Mott and restores it to House Glover, Alisanne joins his army. She becomes one of the guards of Asher Greyjoy during Stannis' march on Winterfell, which is now held by House Bolton. And that's all we know of House Mormont's history at the current time. I could have gone into a little bit more detail into Jorah's story, and, but I feel where much that's covered in the main book I kind of gave like an overview in the Cliff Notes version of it. Maybe at some point I'll do character profiles and I'll give a bit more detail then. But this video was more about general House Mormont history. Thank you.